what's up everybody and welcome back to flicking on my big tarot here where i bring you the beauty juice and spiritual truths i am your spirit guide host miss dc and today y'all we are coming back with another general reading for the sign of cancer now please understand that this download is general so it will not apply to every single cancer as everybody is not going through the same situation at the same time okay cross watches anybody outside of the cancer energy you're more than welcome to join in tune in yes spirit told me to talk to y'all okay please utilize this information for the most positive purpose and i will be talking to you all with these four tarot decks the romance angel the moonology oracle card their modern witch as well as the okay tarot and i'm super excited about that i will be clarifying with those they're just so cute and so easy to understand <sighs> well they weren't some of them because they're blank and it's like some of them have the same thing they don't it, it's hard to explain like some of them just have the same the same picture on them just like if it's two of pentacles it's two coins if it's three of pentacles it's three coins whereas on most decks every card has a different type of you know look so it's a little bit more confusing but anyway don't let your past hold you back i feel like you all have a tendency to do that a lot you don't really project yourself or you don't put yourself out there the way you need to for the fear of lack or probably loss. The answers you need are coming. So I feel like you're probably wanting to know something like specifically. A win-win outcome is in a forecast. So whatever I feel like you decide to do, whatever you're questioning, it's gonna, it's gonna be a win-win anyway. Regardless of what you do, may be a win-win anyway look at this three out of the six signs that i've done already two of them have card two cards popped out i usually only do one of these but for two other signs they popped out very quick so i'm going to do two of these reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life soulmate yes this is a soulmate so whoever this is they are returning. Somebody is coming back, probably unexpectedly. And it says soulmate and it says reconciliation. So y'all be looking out for that because I feel like this person is probably going to pop up out of nowhere. You probably going to be like, damn, I ain't seen you in years. Like, you look good. Like, you know, I feel like you gonna meet, you gonna run, not meet, but you gonna run into this person. You gonna be like, oh my God, I ain't seen you in forever years. Like, how are you doing? Okay. See, the fool. And I feel like you're probably in the process of taking a risk. Something you want to do that is risky to you. And when I say risky to you, like I said, some people gamble all the time. And you might be the first time I'm trying to gamble. So it's it's risky either way. Whoever does it, it's always risky. But it's more risky to you because you generally never do this. Ten of Wands. See, probably because it's been a burden on you. But I feel like you want to take a risk to get out of something or to do something. But whatever it is with this Ten of Wands in reverse, it's like a lot of stress on your back. It's a lot of baggage that I feel like comes with it. And you might, Four of Pentacles, feel like you're losing out. Maybe you're losing something of value or maybe you're wasting something. Maybe you're wasting time. I feel like maybe you're wasting time. You're wasting energy. Something that you're not holding on to or something that's just, it's falling or it's not working maybe money is getting slower and slower or something is slowing down that see the chariot in reverse it's like no will no drive i feel like it's something that you want to do but you feel like if you do it it'll be too much on your back you know what i'm saying it might be too many problems and i feel like you know what you need to do but you wasting time and you don't really have the drive or the energy and by not doing this, the will of fortune in reverse, it's not going to go in your favor. Don't let your past hold you back. What I tell y'all before when we first started, 
What did I tell you? I said, you all have a tendency to not project yourselves. You all have a tendency to want to do all of these things, but you just don't do it. And then you probably, and a lot of y'all end up regretting it. You know, I regret that I didn't do this. So I regret that I didn't do that because had I would have did it, who knows where I would have been. And even though everybody does have that, that doesn't dis, dis include you. So for anybody who watches this video and says, well, you know, that could be anybody. Okay, well, that includes you too. So whatever it is, then you need to look at it, acknowledge it. Whatever it is, it's wasting your time, it's wasting your energy. See, I pulled two at once. You got the Knight of Cups, and then you got the Two of Cups in reverse. So I feel like you're giving too much to a relationship that's not worth it. You're giving too much to a relationship you don't have no will, no power, no, no wanting to go towards. It's like you just, you're not enthused. It's something else that you want to go to, and it might not even be another person. It might just be work. It might be something else of value that you're trying to get. Maybe you're trying to design something or maybe you want to write a book or maybe you want to get into a field, you know, like science or politics or you want to do something different that probably you've never really just done before. You know what I mean? The Ten of Cups in reverse. It's like you don't want this family. You don't want this situation that you're currently in, I feel like, because you feel like it's too much. And with the six of swords, it's hard for you to make the transition. So you want to let go something, but I feel like you want to let go, but cancers have this habit of staying in situations that they know aren't good for them. And it's like, you'll sit in a situation and you'll complain all day. You hate the people that you around. You hate everybody. You don't like life. You don't like nobody touching you. You really don't like nobody talking to you. You don't like nobody doing nothing. <laughs> like y'all really don't be liking to do nothing. And y'all just have a tendency to be a little bit mean towards the people around you. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you can be a little, you know, a little mean to some of the people around you. So what is this fool card? We got the six of pentacles in reverse. So see i feel like you want to get out of i feel like you wasting you wasting money you wasting time and you wasting money with this six of pentacles it's like it's like everything just uh, whatever you're in just might be one-sided you might be doing all the work you might be taking care of the kids you might be paying the bills you know you doing everything and it's just getting to be too much on your back what is this for pentacles the high priestess in reverse so it's like you're in denial and see that's what i mean it's like y'all be knowing it's like i know that this really but y'all don't want to move out of the situation for fear like y'all just don't it's like y'all don't never want to take that leap of faith you know y'all too just too hermit like and i don't understand it's so much world out here cancer and I know many of cancers in my life. My dad is a cancer. My best friend is a cancer. One of my favorite aunties is a cancer. My, my best friend's daughter she just had is a double cancer. Okay? She's a double cancer. Ugh. So honey just be in, in moods all the goddamn time. You know, she really do. Hi, Nala. One day, she hopefully she see this. But look, you know. What is this wheel of fortune in reverse? See, look at that, an injustice. Staying in this situation is an injustice. What is this 10 of cups? We got the five of wands. See, inner conflict with this family life, inner conflict with this relationship. It's like, it seems like everybody just tired of the relationships they in. Everybody just want to just, I feel like we all need to just separate and re-goddamn charge. We need to separate and re-goddamn charge because I feel like all of us is in these weird-ass fucking relationships that's either ran their course or they're in relationships that is just not working out no more. It's just too much baggage. It's too much negativity. Too much. Okay? Too much manipulation going on. Be wanting to do so much for people that you don't realize you hurting the people around you. You know, people around you probably try. And it's just one of them situations because, you know, unfortunately, I see it happen all the time. I see it happen all the time. I see it happen all of the time. I experienced it my own self, with my own father, with my own best friend, 
you know, with my own auntie. Like I and and I have a couple of friends that are cancers. And I don't really deal too much with them, so I don't really want to classify them as friends, but they're people that I associate with. And I see certain energies in them that I see in the other cancers that be around me. And no, all of them are not the same, but there's certain habits that they portray. And 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 I kind of in a sense know how now to operate with them. So learn how to operate your own self and then you can operate around the people around you. Until then, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And cancer, do something.